Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my road to a half Ironman triathlon. We are now 10 weeks out. I've taken annual leave this week, so I'm gonna focus all on training. Today, we've got a four hour workout coming up and it's gonna be starting with a 5K run. So I'll see you at the track. run i'm aiming for anything less than 21 minutes hopefully i can get it quite close to 20 minutes i'm feeling quite good feeling refreshed so maybe i should be able to get it close to 20 minutes let's see how it goes that sucked the last few kilometers absolutely sucked I started off well, I was on track for a sub 20. I was running at like 350 minutes a kilometer. But then between the second and the third, the fatigue kicked in massively from the cycling. I think all this weekend, running last week. And then I just, I had to work a lot harder to maintain the pace. Day five, triathlon training. We are at the track for the Friday 5K. I'm hoping and aiming to beat Monday's time, aiming to beat that. My PB, which is 19 minutes 32 seconds, I'm gonna put that here. If we beat that, then oh my days, we are gonna have a party. But aim is to beat this. If we get anywhere near this, then that'd be a dream. Let's get it! That is a new PB. Oh my god. Oh. That is a new PB. Yes! <sighs> Triathlon training, day five, Friday 5K. Can't believe it. After yesterday's 70 kilometer bike ride. Oh my god. Amazing feeling. Amazing experience. I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving it. kilometers in and we got a flat tire 40 kilometers in we broke down 42 kilometers in i cycled back home got to 47 and now we fixed up the bike nothing was going to stop us we're fixed we're ready to go back on the road and complete the 60 kilometers for today Woo! 60 kilometers done got back on the bike 
did what you had to do. It was supposed to be 50 anyway, but I wanted to make sure I was cycling for at least three hours and my pace was a lot faster than I expected. So took it up to 60. <sighs> Feels good. See you in a bit. end of day three just finished my home workout the good thing about freeletics the app that I used to do my home workouts that gives me the home workouts is that you can customize it so the days I've been doing a lot of cycling and running like today I customize it so it doesn't have any lower body exercises because otherwise I'll be finished so the last few days I've been doing all upper body workouts as part of my home workouts and then the cycling and the runs take care of the lower body and I'm pretty much cycling every day so every day that I'm doing long cycles you know 30 kilometers 40 kilometers 50 60 kilometers when I do the home workouts I'm focusing on the upper body because that's the only way to strengthen that part when gyms open I'll do you know deadlifts bench press compound lifts that focus on the upper body but yeah that's the home workout done that's the end of day three it's been mad I did two running sessions, one for another YouTube video, one as part of my triathlon training, 30 kilometer cycle, and now it's home workout. I've burnt, I'm on 4,700 calories at the moment, which is insane. I don't remember the last time I saw numbers like that. Obviously it's tiring, but it basically means I'm eating whatever I want throughout the whole day. Tracking how much protein I'm having, tracking how much carbs I'm having. Other than that, anything goes, which it's not a bad place to be really. Someone who used to struggle a lot with how much he eats, when to eat, and always limiting my food, always being so conscious of every little bit of food that I was having, all the sugar I was having, and it really messed with me. So this is a nice welcome change. And I'm loving all the exercise, I'm loving the training, I'm loving how much stronger I'm getting. So, that's the end of day three. Tomorrow we've got a big cycle, another home workout. I'll see you then. in stopped in the middle of nowhere in Richmond Park so I realized two things one I don't even have a road bike helmet I've got like a mountain bike helmet which is really embarrassing so get rid of that I'm ordering one right now on my break and I'm picking up a road bike helmet on my way home so that's embarrassing but this is truly for the amateurs out there um, who just want to start you don't have to know it all. I started cycling last week. I've been using the wrong helmet. When I first went cycling, you would have seen it in the first episode. I went in trackies, man. I went in night hoodie and night trackies, running trainers, standard. And I did a 50 kilometer cycle like that. So, it doesn't matter what you wear, it just matters that you start. The second thing I've learned is, damn, these people can cycle. They are just doing bits. Now, I don't know if they also run and swim and play football, but the way they're cycling is pretty impressive. And I want to be like one of these guys. So give me some time. I'm going to look like them. I'm going to move like them. They are doing bits. And the other thing, so the third thing I realized, is I am shattered. Absolutely finished. But this is beautiful. I feel good. That's a lie. I feel horrendous. I need to go pick up that helmet. Probably should, that's absolutely useless.
marathon is going to be 90k of this bike ride and then a half marathon afterwards like that thought really overwhelmed me but then i thought this whole process is not about making that triathlon comfortable the whole thing's uncomfortable every single moment you're going through discomfort i don't think the point is to make it comfortable or bearable i think the point is to be able to persist through that and that's why i learned today like none of that bike ride was comfortable but that's not why you're doing it and i don't think that's also why you're training i think what you're training is to learn to persist through all of that. 60K in, end the final stretch now, 20K. Good end to the week. I feel good. This is the final stretch of week two triathlon training. Oh, I hate cycling, but I love cycling. See you later. Whew. That is 81 kilometers done. Oh my God. Yeah, I look like a shocking mess. It's Saturday, that's day six of triathlon training. That's 80 kilometers. That's the longest distance I've ever cycled. That is the end of the week. That is the end of the week two. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making it all this way with me. I'm gonna start week three in two days. Guess what's happening week three? Swimming. I've booked all my swimming in. I've got my swimsuit, wetsuit coming. Got my goggles, got my hat. Swimming, eventually, swimming officially begins when episode two of this is out. I'll be midway through episode three, midway through week three, swimming, and that's gonna be an amazing experience and I can't wait to get in the water. And I've burnt about maybe what, 17, 18, 19,000 calories doing that. So I'm gonna go smash now. I'm not gonna show you the food as part of this video, but if you wanna see why I eat all weekend, after doing a stupid cycle like that, then go watch my last video, which I posted on Monday, which is a full weekend of this week's eating. See how all the videos are like interlaying and interlocked. It's pretty cool, right? So go watch this video, go watch that video, go watch next week's video, go watch last week's video, go watch last month's video. Just watch every single video there is out there. There's a bear of them and they're all interlocked, intermixed, interconnected, food, fitness, fitness, food, food, fitness, fitness, food. That's enough talking. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. There's gonna be more to come. I'm not stopping, I'm not stopping these videos. There's only gonna be more. So subscribe, get on board and get on board. Thank you very much. Peace.